You make my heart go boom Oh baby, it's the look in your eyes that makes you the prize I wish we were together right now It's true What's up CJ hey, gang? gang? It's your girl Janae And it's your girl Chula And we're back with another video So today what we're gonna be doing is We're gonna be reacting to um I think her name is Unwind with Tasha K Or something like that we're gonna be reacting to her video that she did on R. Kelly and his girlfriends because I know that's like a good subject to do because everybody talking about it right now. So we're gonna get into it, and not only that, but we're gonna be smoking and getting high. So we're gonna react while getting high, yeah. So. so it's like a reaction video, but we actually gonna be getting yeah. high too. So y'all kind of getting like two videos really in one, but um. Y'all know the tea with R. Kelly and stuff like that. I guess his two girlfriends had a fight the other day on live. Um, I can't think of their names. I know one name is Ezreal. And the, I think the other one, Jocelyn. Yeah, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Joyce, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Savage. Yeah. And Ezreal McCleary, some shit like mm -hmm. that. But y'all know they've been, you know, shit been kind of tight between all of them because R. Kelly been in jail. So, bitch, it's tea. It's up, tea. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and react to the video while we smoking. So, let me like this blunt first. And with that being said, make sure y'all uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Go hit that bell so you can get all notifications. And we're going to start posting a lot. This might be the first video or whatever, but this is just getting us started with our channel. After that, we're going to be posting. We're going to always give y'all videos. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. Let's get it. <coughs> Since we got the camera and everything set up already in front of um the TV, we're just gonna go ahead and use the the TV that we use for um our surveillance cameras. We're gonna go ahead and use that TV. And let's just get right into it. This her little um intro thing, so I'ma just get to the part that I need to see. Shout out to Tasha K. Yeah, shout out to you, girl, because you be well, having all the tea. Yeah, you be having all the tea, girl. And you just be she be laying it on you and don't care. Mm -hmm. And don't. And don't. And don't. And don't. But, yeah. Shout out to you, Tash K. Shout out. Finals, we got 10 seconds. I'm sorry, I had to chat. Just got off the phone, okay? Had to get this exclusive line. Hold on just a second. Ooh. All right. One, One second. Hell, really. People are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shut the hell up and enjoy the I show. Mean, I am slowing <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and skip <coughs> skip to the parts that we need to get to because it's kind of long. So we're just going to skip a little bit. Just a little bit, Tasha. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Hey, already hot and sweating and shit. Look. All right, so um, shout out to Kyle. Real quick. Um, Give me one second. There's something going on with my live cam. Let me make sure. Girl, yep, she got the teddy bear sitting like that. He normally have some wine in his hand. Yeah, I ain't even okay. seen that. Oh, well, we just yeah, don't have to run with it like this. I apologize head. for it being so dark. Um, that's what I'm looking at yeah, right now. Yeah, not a tea, so, uh, Oh, well, we were just, you know, trying to get it together. But anyway, okay. So, uh, R. Kelly's girlfriends were unfortunately fighting on Instagram, okay? I was out at Sprouts trying to get some baby food for my baby and everything like that because he done started selling. To make him any food today. And Kyle, shout out to Kyle for the neighborhood talk. I told y'all, y'all need to follow him. He is up and coming and he is one of the hottest bloggers right now in the game. I'll tell you what I'm drinking later, okay? And so if you weren't on Instagram, let me rewind it for you back. Here's the actual video, just so a lot of y'all can catch up. Here, take everything out. What's yours? What's yours? What you want to take? You can take all this shit. It ain't shit but sweats. Here, I'm gonna help you out. Oh, he don't like that. He don't like men. You just, you just told on your own boyfriend. You just told you on your own boyfriend. Like I'm gonna pause it right here. So, girl, first of all, 
Right. First of all, the box is already packed. So, baby, she was already getting R. Kelly shit out the door, it looks like, to me. And why is they leaving the house? If that's R. Kelly's house, so why they leaving? Like, because I, they... I think um the Ezreal girl, mm -hmm. she I heard that she got the, what they said, like the Trump towels and shit, yeah. she got that in her name. So, like, basically, I guess she packing all the shit because it's not going to be in her name no more. So, I guess she, like, packing up all the shit so she could leave, y'all. Everything whatever. is in boxes. Everything in boxes. Like y'all gonna see it because I'm gonna make sure I put the video in the um in in here. But everything I already packed up. So that's one letting us know that some shit I already been going on. We just ain't been on. Um. Two. Jocelyn said, "You out of line." You know he don't like you men. You know you wrong. House. Yeah. You he know he don't, you know he don't like men in the house. Like the fuck. You know he don't like men in the house, girl. But that's just how manipulated, because he got them like that, and he in jail. He brainwashed. He way in jail. Like, he's in jail, and they they was still doing shit. Like, I heard that they was waking up drinking coffee and shit around the same time that he that he used to have coffee when he was out. So, but they don't watch TV. Girl, all shit. kind of shit, but I just want the positive just to say, Jocelyn, baby, she just spread it all the time. And then, it looked like she was recording. If y'all pay attention... It looked like she was recording because she had her phone up. I don't know. She probably was recording so she could show it to Robert. I don't know she was recording. No okay. cap. I'm push play. We have men in here. That's disrespectful, Zale. You know that's wrong. You know that's wrong. This is his house. You disrespectful. You're so evil. I'm not evil, baby. Evil. I need to protect oh, myself. I need to protect you myself. You need that shit. Joy, you asleep on me. They started fighting. Bitch, yes, hold on. See, I knew they had a fight, but I didn't ever really see the video. Did you see the video? I never seen I never seen the video of them fighting. Everybody was just on Instagram and Twitter and shit talking about they had a fight and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I've been trying to see what's T. So since I found it and I watched um Tasha K video, I was like, I ain't even watch the whole thing really. Cause I ain't even get to this part. I just seen she did a story on it. I was like, let me react to it. We should react to it. So that's what we doing. But I Maybe didn't even on it. I didn't even see it and it looked like Jocelyn probably hit her first. I think Jocelyn hit her first because she had her phone. Now it looked like her phone under the cabinet in the fucking bathroom or something. I don't know. She's talking about Rob has been lying. I'm not trying to mock her or make fun of her nothing, but she's talking about Rob been lying to all y'all know, baby. Rob been lying to y'all motherfucking ass. Who the fuck is all y'all? Because we been knew Robert was a fucking pervert, a faggot. We knew he was all that. I ain't mean faggot, but we all know he was like a pervert. We knew he liked them men. We already knew that shit. We knew that shit when he married Aaliyah, and I think Aaliyah was like 16 years yeah, old. Yeah, she was young. We about, they lied that. about her age or something. So he's not lying to us, baby. He lying to you and all his other motherfuckers. We know the truth, boo. You the only one just not coming to realization. Not it. He been lying to all y'all asses. Mm. And he had people like me lying for him. That's why we never watched the documentary. They never watched the documentary. The documentary been out. This fight was supposed to have been recent. How the fuck they ain't never watched the goddamn documentary? That's weird. So they never seen like no clips of the documentary. Cause I see Jocelyn, 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 whatever her name is. I see she got a phone in her hand. So how she been having a phone this whole time and shit? And ain't seen not one part of the documentary. She probably got them so brainwashed that they already. Pro well, probably Jocelyn. Cause they can't even but talk I was to their gonna, people. So I was gonna say, he, around the time they did the documentary, 
I don't think they had their phones. Because I know he used to take their phones. They used to couldn't have a phone and shit like, and stuff like that. I'm going to stop cussing so much, too. But I heard they couldn't even have their phone. So I'm start, I think probably when he went to jail, that's when they started getting phones and stuff. Because Ezreal just recently made an Instagram account. And I think she did a, I think her and Jocelyn did a video in Lion talking about that wasn't her that made that Instagram. But now, obviously, it's clearly you that made it. It's a lot of fishy stuff going on, but I'm going to push play. That is exactly why. So we got on Gail King as stupid as can fucking be. Oh, this nigga. Exactly. <laughs> as stupid as can fucking be. She crying. Yeah. Get his bitch these last few Grammys. Give her these last few Grammys before I fucking break him. You better give her these last Grammys before I fucking break him. Call an attorney. Call a fucking attorney. Call a... that she had left like she was slowly leaving no i'm saying so she leaving now yeah yeah so i guess <clears throat> i had to get my new feet so i guess she leaving now obviously because she just did all that shit of course she gonna have to leave but um she was i think she was saying like because i heard that as real had started hanging with her brother a lot like they they was meeting up to go for drinks and stuff like that she was just with her brother, like, as long as the daddy wasn't around type of shit, I guess. But, um, lately, like, she been communicating with them. Like, she'll talk to them over the phone and stuff like that, I heard. Yeah. So, I guess that's what she's saying. I guess she's saying, like, she didn't want to put out tea and drama on Azriel because she could see that she was slowly becoming back herself, like, finna leave that shit alone type shit. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, I don't know. But I think that's what she was saying. That's what I'm getting out of it. Once her brother was able to get through to her, this is when she first left R. Kelly after he was locked up for some time. Yeah. Uh, she went to, uh, when she wasn't coming home to the Trump Tower, and remember I was telling you that, and Joy was actually reporting to R. Kelly through emails that Joy wasn't coming home at night. It's because she was actually with her brother. Not Joy, Azra wasn't coming home. It's because... So, Why would she just tell on her? That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Because he got them... <clears throat> He got, I feel like he got them so controlled. So, uh, like I said, he not there. So, he can't have control over them. So, it's like he put one of them in charge type shit. Mm -hmm. So, basically, he got Jocelyn in charge. Like, let me know this. Let me know that. Let me know all this. Like, basically, keeping him in touch with what's going on, even though he not there. Yeah. That's crazy. And she really listening to him and really doing that shit, abiding by his rules, and he locked up. She was actually with her brother. After her brother uh, convinced her that, hey, you need to spend more time with your family, she actually reunited with her mother and her father, and I believe she's now living in L.A., if I'm not mistaken. It's so, storming uh, out there, y'all. It, it is. Just to kind of bring you up to speed here. Do y'all hear the rain? It's storming out there. I see. It is. It's raining bad. They probably can hear it because the mic on. But I heard that I seen on the uh, Instagram page that they lied and said it wasn't hers. I seen that she got her a new apartment or a house. It's nice, too. She was walking through it, girl. 
who I was. She even showed. Uh, I wouldn't even want to show. Why she was showing. I don't. She was inside. She wasn't on the outside of it. So you know, it's gonna be hard for somebody to kind of know what she had from the inside of her hug. So, but it looked nice. So I. So I guess she's moved to L. A. or some shit. And this, she doing her own thing. Now, fuck I'm glad up. she does. They all need to leave. Me too. I think they all gonna leave after a while because R. Kelly gonna get life, but we gonna get to that at the end of the video. So what you saw was a breakdown, okay? Asriel was kind of unsure about breaking down, you know, when it came to R. Kelly because she wasn't allowed to watch TV. She really wasn't allowed to use the phone. While most of his girls lived in Atlanta or some lived in the studio, she actually lived in the truck tower. Okay, and I'm gonna back it up a little bit here because I don't want to confuse you all. Um, right now, Asriel is currently at the doctor getting checked up. Shit is really about to hit the fan with this case, okay? Now, uh, Asriel, just in case you don't know, the Trump Tower is actually in Asriel's name. As a matter of fact, all the bills are in Asriel's name. So when you heard her on the live saying, you know, shit is about to go down, you know, I'm about to say that, you know, uh, Joy slept with the minor, that minor being her. If you did not catch that commentary, <coughs> and if you remember... Let me stop it right there. I can't remember. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I can't remember how they said Joy was, but I think Azriel, 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 whatever her name is, I think she's like 20 now, something like that, 23. I don't know. She's somewhere up in there, like in her young 20s. But I'm saying that to say, um, Joy slept with her as a minor. And I guess she's been holding it against her. Like, you can tell she's been holding it against her, of course, because the way she was yelling, you slept with me as a minor. But that's fucked up. Like, she really slept with, with that girl as a minor. Like, he really had them girls doing some weird ass shit. We don't dwell on it after the, after we watch this, but crazy, this is crazy. Like, I can't even deal with this shit. Remember, I'm trying to, like, bring it all together for you without confusing you. If you remember when I did that, um, it was the R. Kelly enabler video, and I kind of broke down everybody's parts. And do you remember this young woman here, Vada? Okay, let me bring this home for you. I'm going to tell you why Azrael is pissed, okay? When Azrael came in, of course, you know, she was young at the time. She was like 17. She had just gotten out of a mental institution, okay? A lot of people were trying to come for her parents, saying, oh, that's not true. Azrael had just gotten out of a mental institution. She had tried to kill herself two weeks prior over a boy that had cheated on her, okay? So her parents took her to an R. Kelly concert to cheer her up and boom be superstar like r kelly of course her being young and naive that's you know this is what happened okay so she ended up living with r kelly now before our before asra was in the picture before um okay so it was this girl named bada picket pinkett they said or whatever whatever her name is irrelevant but since she brought her up um it was that was her name and I guess that's the girl who he had before Israel and Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. And she, I guess, I think, I know, I think I know what she's going to say. Because I think they used to say that he used to have her, like, in charge of the other girls that he took. Yeah. She was. She used to watch them. And I think I heard something about she molested. I don't know. She touched her niece. She did something. It was either her niece or her little cousin. It was somebody. I don't know. But we're going to see. But after I hit that point, I'm gonna skip it a little bit because her video long, and I really want this video to be that long. So, um, after Kitty was in the picture, after Aspanti McGee was in the picture, do you remember Vada? This this girl here. Remember I told you about her? I'm gonna bring it home in a second because I want to tell you why Azrael is so pissed. Okay, this girl here, Vada. Let me see if I can increase her picture real quick. Are y'all following me? Real? Are y'all following me? I hope so. I don't know why <laughs> I can't get this picture to increase. Let me skip it. Well, is a main girl, okay? While well, he has other girls, but she's the top girl. And Vada was once a main girl before Azrael. Stay with me here, okay? So when I reported on Vada a year ago, I told y'all that our Kelly has a system, okay? He makes everybody signs in, sign NDAs. Not only that, if you are of age, Okay, Vada was, I think she was around 17, 18. In order for R. Kelly to 
to trust you, you must incriminate yourself first, okay? Do you remember me telling y'all that? If you don't, I'm just gonna, you know, rewind it back just a little bit. And so, Vada is an example. Matter of fact, Vada was R. Kelly's main girl. And in order for her to show her loyalty to R. Kelly, she actually recorded herself, okay? Per Dominique and a few others there that had actually seen the tape, I believe Azrael knows where the tape is, and Azrael is going to possibly be working with the feds. Not possibly, she is, okay? I don't want to say too much because she's still in Chicago, and, um, you know, <clears throat> things could get possibly heated if they know Azrael's role in all of this, okay? And so Vada was one of the older women. I wouldn't say older. She was like 17, 18 at the time. Don't quote me on it. And in order for her to prove her love to R. Kelly, she recorded herself fondling, probably doing more. I have not seen the tape. Um, she was recording herself with her six-year-old niece, okay? This woman right here, right here, okay? Do y'all remember that? That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> bro, that is the dirtiest, bro, that is dirty, bro. I can't see myself messing with my niece, like... That's dirty, bro. Like, she filthy for that. That's dirty. That was out of fucking line. Then she, then they talk about like, proving loyalty to R. Kelly. Like, you won't, what is you, what are you proving? If he got you, uh, you was a child, you don't think he wants, want to see you do shit with children, bro? Bro, that's, I that would never crazy. trust this girl ever again. And I think she got out and everything, so I know she still be around her niece. If she be around her niece, that's the bottom line. She don't need to she be around her niece at all. She don't, need to, she don't need to be around children, period. They need to find that tape so they can incriminate her so she can be out of yeah, there. Yeah, I think that if is, they find that tape, she going to get locked up. If, if that's real, if you got that tape, give it up. Because, baby, if you know where it's at, let them know. Because she needs to go down for the bullshit that she done did. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on with this. I'm finna skip. Fuck, I'm finna skip a little bit because that shit crazy. All right, now, uh, Vada was. Let me see. What else? An NDA that she was not legally allowed to sign at 17, so she was under the impression too. Okay, just like what Azrael was saying, he was making us lie on the Gail King interview. Of course, we all saw that shit. We all knew that they were lying. Azra was an amazing singer. Joy is more so like a puppet. Yes, 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 ma'am. You know, she, and I'm not trying to make this funny because this is a very, 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 you know, serious issue, okay? Because these are dealing with, I mean, this is, this is people's, oh God. These were once young girls and they're still young girls mentally. They were just unfortunately brainwashed into this sick ass cult that R. Kelly had, okay? Not only pissing on them, he's shitting and making them eat the shit. He's going to whip. I forgot he making about them that. eat food. <clears throat> Girl, it's like a cult thing he got going on. Like, in order for you to prove your loyalty to him, you got to do some out of line, weird, nasty type of shit. I can't. Like, he got to have something over your head. Like, he got to be hanging something over your head. I don't know what possessed a motherfucker to eat some shit. shit. And, hold on. <clears throat> the one that shit. they talk about that ate the shit. What's her name? It's the one who had, they cut uh, off. Dominique. Dominique. He supposedly had ate his boo -boo. Yeah, his girl, she supposed to have ate this man's shit to prove her, her loyalty. What type of shit they got going on, baby? Ain't no loyalty. That motherfucking deep in this world, bitch. If you that, if you loyal to me like that, you shouldn't even be asking me to eat no shit. You know that's out of line. That's some out of line that yeah. shit. But <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck. Oh, and I heard Dominique before she got released. Cause I know I'm skipping this song. I hope she spoke on it though. But Dominique before she got released, I think he was trying to turn her into a boy. Cause you know he like I boys. Think so. I think she cut her hair and everything. She he made her cut her hair, and somebody said if she would have stayed there like a little bit longer, she would have. I don't know if he was gonna get her some kind of surgery to give her a dick, or if he was like taking her through hormone treatments on everything. I ain't mean to say that be word, but y'all get the picture <laughs> on everything. Like that's crazy. She was gonna literally be a little boy if she wouldn't have left. Now she pregnant and stuff though. I said she was pregnant. I don't know who she pregnant, but she, she got a boyfriend. It's growing back. So she's not in with R. Kelly. 
She don't fuck with any of them. Mm -mm. To doctors, to do certain stuff, blood covenants, suicide packs, and Vada here was um, a part of that. Now, what pissed Vada off? Because um, Azrael is going to testify against Vada. Vada, how can I put this? Because I don't want to put out too much information and she's able to clean this up, okay? So, Azrael's pissed about a lot of things, as you can see. That's why her and Joy were mainly fighting, okay? Because she's telling on everybody. Now, when Vada was R. Kelly's main girl, Azrael just kind of, I wouldn't say she swooped in, but R. Kelly positioned her because she was younger and she was getting, and Vada was getting older, but Azrael was younger to kind of take over because he knows the younger he keeps them, the more naive they are. And he can get mm -hmm. them to participate in certain things, okay? Yep, that's how you got them to eat the book and stuff. Exactly. <clears throat> Keep pressure on them. Exactly, and that's like just, I said, he it's like he be leveling, he be calling himself like leveling them up and shit. Like that's crazy. Do he put money in their pocket for this shit? I don't know what that man doing. I hope he do. I don't know how he broke. I don't know. That's why he getting shit in these girls' names. That shit crazy. Every girl he fuck with, he getting shit in her name. That's crazy. Shit. And Vada, what he did was push her away. And Vada, honestly, and this is. You're gonna see this hit the fan. Vada tried to poison Azrael and R. Kelly. When she found out that Azrael, I mean, when she found out that Azrael was now R. Kelly's main girl and she wasn't that main girl anymore, so she honestly had a mental breakdown and tried to kill him. She poisoned their food. All of this, you're gonna see this in, in future testimony, but Azrael knows where everything is. When I say the tape, she knows who's who, she knows where the bank accounts are, where the money is, she knows who's who's using who. Um, and so Vada is a main piece in this because Vada, before Azrael, because Azrael took over what Vada was doing, Vada was that girl, okay? Sleeping with her, her six-year-old niece, um, hiding other tapes for Azrael, just like... Uh... I'm sorry, y'all. That thunder scared the shit out of me. I don't know how. <laughs> so, we're going to skip this shit up some because it's a little bit too much if you like i said earlier if y'all want to see the entire video i'll put the link in my description and y'all can just go to her channel and watch and watch it but i'm gonna skip it up just a little bit more to see what she's saying and then we're gonna evaluate the woman that was in his first sex tape her name is on the books as well mm -hmm. mm. Hold on real quick. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of people that he previously supposedly molested and stuff. They put money on his book. Like they real life was putting money on their main books. Why did he even have a bond? He got a bond? Oh, they just put it on his book? I don't think he got a bond. They put it on his book. His book oh, for the Indian shit. shit. Yeah. And they got him six something million, a thousand. Girl, I don't fucking know, but that's a lot of money. Let me see. He could buy if you, a TV if you love me, money. this is what you'll do. And it's not love, it's just sex. And so that's what he made them under. So basically, in conclusion of this video, so basically, I'm a little high, so y'all gotta excuse me, because we did smoke two blunts <laughs> at the beginning of this so far, video. Too. I might not look like it, but I'm there. So basically, he had all these females doing all this kind of weird stuff, and he wasn't doing nothing but talking. Like, how can you brainwash people that, like, that hard? Like, they was doing every, they was doing everything this man wanted. Like, they was literally niece. doing any, I'm still messed up about that. any and everything to please him. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I understand that some people get brainwashed. I don't know if he was catching them. I know he, they said he caught Ezreal when she was in a low spot, but... I mean, I don't know if it was, I don't know if they thought that, I don't know, when they seen him, they probably thought they had like a bag or something like, yeah, he rich, he trying to hide me. Oh, he gonna help He's supposed to be gonna help my career and stuff like that. So I guess he was like feeding him a whole bunch of bullshit. And that's some weird ass shit. He used to fuck them, make them fuck each other. He used to make them do all, all type of shit. Like eat his shit. 
who the hell gonna eat, sit there and eat somebody's shit? I wish I would. I don't want to eat nothing. I don't. I don't understand, and it's crazy because it's kind of like they can really leave if they want to. Because from the looks of it, they have freedom. I seen a, a few of them out in public on the blogs and stuff like that. So I'm like, why y'all ain't leaving? I really feel like at this at that point he was already getting caught up, so he tried to let them move around, but he really wouldn't let them do something like that. Still, he had still had somebody watching them. Like he had like at one of them, he had Dominique watching his jo- Jocelyn girl. Yeah, but at the end of the day, day shit. That, that bitch, was on the interview. Or that can't. That girl couldn't watch her that fucking hard. If I really wanted to get away, that's a female for one. She gonna watch me. She gonna watch me. But come on now, if I'm trying to really get away and we in public, nigga, I'm finna get away. Everybody already know I'm Joycelyn or I'm Azriel. So hey, they already know if I'm running and I need help, y'all know what the fuck is up. That bitch ain't gonna stop nothing. I mean, well, not a bitch, but she's not gonna stop anything. So it's like. If you need, if you want to help, y'all should have ran like a long ass time ago. Yeah, but he was doing like a whole bunch of weird stuff, and I like the way that um Tasha be doing her shit. Like she always catch the tea. Like as soon as they come out, she catching it. She streamed yeah, this shit live. Like this is live. And if y'all don't know her, her um YouTube name is Unwind with Tasha K. Make sure y'all go. YouTube, y'all make sure y'all go. Yeah, make sure y'all go to her page. She got a whole bunch of little good tea. And it be like real, she literally be having like great, she always have some fucking receipts. Every time she do something, every time she drops something, she come with a receipt. So it's like nobody can't ever lie. And motherfuckers be mad. I be seeing them, they be mad. But he, R. Kelly, at the end of the day, I feel like he needs to serve life in jail. It's like they got too much evidence. And even if he was to get out, I don't think he'll be the same R. Kelly no more like. I know there's still some people that I thought that's gonna still support him and jam his music and he's still gonna make his money. But at the end of the day it's like no brand deals gonna want him. They might if his music still be doing okay, if he still can do concerts and shit, they it, might the people that's cool with that, because I don't think the people nowadays I don't think they're gonna be cool with that. I know, but you still gotta think about it. He in jail for this shit. Like they already incriminating him. Bitches is already doing shows and shit, saying he did the shit. Like the motherfuckers are saying it out their mouth, and people still out here don't give a fuck about it. People still out here saying he innocent. Like I don't real life the same people saying he's he's innocent. How can you say he innocent and it's like fifty people coming out saying basically the same shit but just in a different way? Like I don't know. It's weird to me. Like help me understand. Like I don't I don't get it. It's crazy. But, I don't know. I feel like he needs to do life in jail because he just did too much. And everything catching up to him. He, he should have been with the jail when he did that little Aaliyah shit. When he did that shit with Aaliyah, he should have been locked up. Everybody was just covering for his ass. He got motherfuckers signing NDAs and shit. Probably be pay- paying. You make my heart go boom. Oh baby, it's the look in your eyes that makes you the prize I wish we were together right now